Russell Eyrig joins us from the city of Regina. He is the guy that knows it all about forestry, horticulture, and pests that can create some issues for us sometimes during the year. And right now we've been noticing this sticky stuff on our cars, on the sidewalks. Russell, what's going on? Well, when you're seeing the sticky stuff on the trees, you've got aphids. So uh, that's really what we're seeing. Uh, best analogy to use what aphids are is they're like a mosquito on the tree. They're actually going in and they're sucking some of the juices out of the leaves of the tree. And then uh, their body metabolism creates a honeydew as a, as a residue. And that's that honeydew that's on the leaves, that's, they're dripping there. And then when it gets too much on the leaf, it trips down onto your car. So it's not really sap, although we've been feeling like it is sort of sap-like. It, it's it's uh, what's left after the aphids eat. So yes, it's it's a honeydew. And you'll also notice around the trees that attracts wasps, that attracts ants, and, and they're actually trying to eat that honeydew because of all the sugars that are in it. Can you give us an idea, just looking up at the leaves, so they, the aphids go onto the plant? So and yeah, they're, they're essentially just, you know, their mouth parts are a sucking mouth part, and they're, they're piercing the leaves, and they're sucking some of the juice out of the leaves. And then when they, they uh, take it, and I'll just take a leaf off here, is you get that nice, heavy, sort of sticky sheen. It's what's making this oak leaf really shiny, and that is the honeydew. Does it cause any problems aside from being sticky? It's more inconvenient than anything else. Um, so, you know, you park your cars under, and I know I like my car really clean, and you get that on. Uh, but again, soap and water is all you need to wash it off. Can it damage a car? No, no. and. It, it's something that just doesn't happen. If you wash it regularly, it'll be just fine. How often does this happen? I feel like this isn't something I've noticed on my car, but I've noticed in the last couple of weeks it has become a problem. I think one of the things that we have to remember is we're in a drought right now in terms of, this, in terms of the city. Um, with the fact that we're not getting rain, essentially the trees aren't getting their shower to get cleaned up. And so what we're seeing is just, it's this whole summer's buildup. And if we'd had that rain, it wouldn't be as bad. We uh, did hear about earlier in the year that the city had bought a lot of ladybugs, which mm -hmm. love to eat aphids to help cut down on the aphid population. And did did that work out as you had anticipated? Well, like anything, I mean, we're, we're only trying to augment what Mother Nature is giving us. So 300,000 ladybugs is, is a good step in that direction. But with the type of year that we've had, they're only going to be able to eat so much, especially when we've had Mother Nature helping the aphids out the way they have. Another thing residents can do is, is just spray the trees with some soap and water. And essentially what will happen is the soap will suck, suck the uh, juices out of the aphid and dry them out and they'll just die by desiccation. Thanks for all the info today, Russell. Okay. Have a great day. You too.